What's up you guys, it's Juan Zuniga and this is Jensei again. Today I'm gonna take you another behind the scenes of a video that we're doing for TMF. And what the heck are you doing? Dude, guess how much these shoes were. Just, uh, just take a wild shot in the dark. 100 bucks? 100 bucks? Yeah, I don't know anything about Jordan, so you're 100 cold. bucks. Like you're cold. 200? You're still cold. 500. You're freezing. How much is that? $2,000. Two thousand. I'm a high piece now, guys. All right, now. Why would you spend two thousand dollars on a pair of sneakers? Uh, so I'm a high piece now. I'm gonna be doing a video on it. On uh, basically, I'll tell you a little bit of the backstory. This is a collaboration with Off White, Super Limited. They really only retail for like 180, I think. But the resale market right now, especially for the ones are just the most popular, the collaboration is like between fifteen hundred to twenty five hundred for the pair of sneakers. What's so different about them compared to the original ones i mean it has different features from the original ones like different like the materials used the way like it's constructed and stuff like it has like a raw hemline up here but uh reality is like they're worth 180 dollars that's the worth of the sneaker what else yes. you like this is all a hype beast outfit we got fear of god off-white video on just hype beast coming soon i completed guess here this is gonna be fun guess how much this t-shirt was Stick, take a shot in the dark. 15, 20 bucks? 15, 20 bucks? Yeah. 15, 20 bucks? You're freezing. How much was that? Just feel that, feel that, feel that shirt. Okay. Take a shot. At 50 bucks? $800. For $800, you can get so many for essential t shirts and they feel so much better than that. You can buy. 30 essential t-shirts get that awesome bamboo cotton feel that won't actually shrink this this feels like a glidden t-shirt and the only reason it's 800 bucks is oh my bad that stupid logo that oh that logo that starts fading like the more you wash it it starts cracking that's how cheap this t-shirt is but again that's the resale market they really only sell for like 40 bucks i think it is but to me that's insane people pay that you guys should be spending 30 bucks in our essential tees look at this we're selling out guys, so limited supply. You guys need to get on it right away. That's right guys, what are you doing spending $800? I mean, just look at the quality of that thing. Like it's like a bamboo cotton that feels luxurious on your skin and you can wear it with anything. Like, we so received well. so many comments on Instagram saying that it's so People love comfortable. The People love these shirts. It's like, they can't believe the quality of of the material. I know. So I'm and it's excited. thirty bucks. I'm actually just happy that people love the t-shirts. So if you guys want to check out the essential t-shirts, it's gonna be linked down below. All right. So as an update to the office, it's a mess though. Yeah. There's nothing going on other than they put some piping down because we're gonna build the bathroom and a kitchen back here. But it's still nasty. It's back still here. bad. Yeah. Uh, hopefully like by January. Like done. Yeah. Do like a cool like a. Uh, Full office store, it's a little pretty sick. Yeah, hopefully by January everything will be done. We'll move everything over here and have fulfillment on the other side. But so. uh, now to the fun part of today. Today we're going to be doing a homeless makeover. So if you guys remember or if you follow the TMF channel, we did a homeless style makeover four months ago. Something, something like, like that. that. Yeah. So we did it on this guy named Clay, super nice guy. Long story short, it ended up being an amazing story. Like we didn't expect it to be, uh, work out so well. Like we just wanted to give somebody like a confidence boost. He ended up reaching out to his brother in Texas who flew him out there and now he works on his land or field. Like his brother has like 10 acres or something like that. Something like that. And now he lives, he's no longer homeless. So that went pretty well. And one of our brand partners, Thursday Boots, got whip of that video, and they're like, hey, I, we wanna help somebody out for the holiday. So now Juan and I are going back out, finding another homeless guy, and giving him a makeover. Yo, man, I love how those GT350s look, look, man. That's one of the cars I was considering. I'm sorry, I was talking, and then like, <laughs> that thing just passed by, and I had to make a comment on it. That was one of the cars I was considering, remember? When I was we trying to wanted to, to test but, drive. Ford was being a pain. Oh, it's a they specialty were so car. Anal Ford, and it was like a fifty grand car. And they either wanted to 
See, if I had the cash in the bank, they wanted to me to take bank statements and all this stuff. And it's like, how would get we want to approve? Yeah, why and would I'm I like, want to get pre- through the process if we don't even like if the car? If I don't like the car, but I've heard, I've heard great reviews. Everybody about it. raves about that car. That's the one car I wish we would have test driven before we made our final decision. Yeah, to that, be honest. definitely. Yeah, it's but so I just affordable. didn't want to go through the process. It, it, it's not that I couldn't; they just pissed me off. Dude, the thing is that it was a Ford dealer. Like, I'm sure if we could find, why don't we try again? For the heck of it, yeah, I'm sure if we find a dealer that's not Ford, they might be more more lenient. I, for some reason, they were so anal about it. It, it, it really pissed me off. That's why. But by the way, I you, really you can still sponsor us, Ford. I guess. <laughs> uh, I really want to try it out. Uh, uh, yeah, let's look for one. Maybe in the area. Some, maybe sure. there's Where's something around here. All right, let me check real quick. Let me check the area. Sure, we can make a quick little car review. That's yeah. the one car I wish I would have reviewed. And if it's that amazing, why not? Trade it in, right? I don't know. <laughs> Trading the, it's the Mercedes for the for it's the cheaper. GT350. It's cheaper. Let's see. All right, guys. So we are here in a GM it. dealership, and as you guys know, I'm a GM fanboy. Hopefully, they treat us right, and we found this Shelby GT350 just sitting right here, 51,000. Look how sexy that thing looks. It's such an aggressive car. Everything from the design, inside, outside. Beautiful car. We're gonna see if we can get to test drive it and see just how good this car really is. On this side, you have your average Mustang. And, and then, then you, the you got the Shelby. That thing is sexy, man. Yeah, Let's okay. see it pull out. That's the cold start. If they haven't that started. cold start? Let's hear that cold start. I wanna get close. It's pretty uh, simple inside, right? Some of them have the full screen. How many miles does this one have? 10,200. 10,306. Oh, 10,306. Yeah. It has a couple more. It's pretty tight back here. Oh, yeah, you're a very tall person. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, you're in a Mustang. Doing, yeah. It's tight. <laughs> you like them performance cars, huh? I used to have them. Yeah. Years ago. Go straight now. Straight. Familiar with the area? Yeah, I used to play around here. What are your initial thoughts? That That thing revs up to what, like 8,000? 82. 82. Very few cars do that. Oh, there it is. It's on sport mode. Oh. It did open it up. Yeah, I heard something. What is that? Oh. It doesn't have it here, it has it here. Oh. You can hear the difference. Just finished that test drive, and like, the thing is that we're we're on the wrong street because yeah. every freaking dealer's here. And as we were driving, there's a freaking GTS there, a GTS and an Audi uh, RS7, which I told you to test drive because yeah. the RS7 is comparable to his that he has right now, but it's all-wheel drive, so that thing's a bullet off the line. I even heard people say that it's basically the four-door R8. It's so. a beast, <laughs> and they have the GT. For me, the GTS. Yeah, because they're single. Or it's the I mean, one car that, yeah, family. it's the one car that I would trade for the 911. Well, I don't know. It we're all about, depends. But inside, about, if you look at it like that, it looks, it like looks a amazing. Car. It's a supercar, basically. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how it drives, but. Let's go find out. Let's check it out. Go. Oh.
look up, look up here on your side. You see that little button at the way at the front and the front. Oh, the front. How does it feel? See right there? Yeah, I, I got it. some buttons on the inside. Oh. Right there. Does it feel good? What? Yeah, it feels real good. So you come down to wave. And you can push the, it's the buttons on the inside. You see we have these four yeah. buttons on the inside. Yo, that is so cool. Cards. You see, let me show you what you can't do in your car. Oh my god. You can't do that in your car. Oh you your car. Whoa. Excuse me. That's what I'm saying. That's what you can't do in your car. I cannot. I can tell you for a fact I can't do that in my car. You see how much control that was? Yeah. Because of the four wheel drive, even in the turn, wow. you have a lot of control. That was me. That was me. All right, we're going to go. Wow. This, this pulls harder than the GTS, for sure. And it's not even tuned. And <laughs> it's not even tuned. Yeah, you, you can't feel, feel safe. Yeah. yeah, you feel safe. You, you can't do that in a in a real wheel drive vehicle. Mm -hmm. That's why you gotta always be able to beat somebody because you can take the corners. Right? <laughs> no, dude, this is another animal. <laughs> I told you it's a beast. This is another animal. I th wow. <laughs> I feel dizzy. <laughs> like I feel it in my stomach. Exactly. Okay. Yo, and this is we haven't even done launch control. Imagine. Oh yeah. Well, launch control. You can't do it when you're in the car. <laughs> no, you really can't. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, she hates it, by the way. Like, right now, yeah. she's she's dying inside. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be, I mean, it's, you have to. No, well, it's like, you don't even need to do launch control. Like, just you know this. When you, go, you, you know when you go on a roller coaster and yeah. it take off? Yeah. yeah. That's how it feels. All right, guys, so we're here at PDQ. Yes. They're having lunch while um, I'm just yeah. sitting here. <laughs> I hate that you're going to die, but not the point. Did I just say that I don't understand what the hype is with the GT350? It's cheap in the inside. Yeah, the interior is not The sound that is not that amazing. On the outside, it's, I mean, it looks like, it doesn't look like your regular Mustang. Obviously, it looks aggressive and everything, but it's not like a wow car. And every reviewer I saw was like, oh my god, this car is so amazing. I mean, I wasn't amazed with it. I mean, it was, it was a good car. It was, it was okay, but not, wow, I need to have it. Not to justify the price that Ford is putting on top of them. You know, I don't know if the GT350 R is any different, but this one, big disappointment. And I want to know what car is amazing. So somehow we ended up in Audi. Right? I, don't, I don't know what the hell. It was like a test driving day, even though we're not looking for cars. That RS7. That RS7. One of the best cars I've driven. It is fast. And all the technology that it has in it. For a four door, it'll put the shame my 911. And even yours, I think. Like, it's a fast, fast car. It was so good that I was this close <laughs> we ended up buying it. I was about to take it home. I was about to trade in the C63 for that one. It was that good. It was that good. The GT350, definitely not a car that I would consider buying at all. Booty. But the R7 is definitely on the table. All right, guys. So we're back at the office. Unfortunately, so we did it. You know, the whole goal was to go find a homeless person to to uh, do our whole video. Unfortunately, we couldn't find anyone. So there are homeless people, but you know, well, it's a little sketchy when two guys just approach you and Correct. ask exactly. to give you a makeover. I mean, it's like, what's the intention behind it? That's what I think it was. So. Unfortunately, like we tried, and we, we found like three p potential people for it, and it, obviously it needs to be like a guy, not a woman. So unfortunately, we didn't get to do that part of the day, but somehow we ended up in like what test driving two, three cars, like it was ridiculous. It's insane. <laughs> GT350, the RS7, and you basically took a joyride on the freaking on the GTS. GTS. I, we couldn't get the footage, it's a two-seater, so that was gonna be hard. Yeah, so I mean, the idea was GT350, but I don't know, like, I, I felt like it was such a bummer of a car 
I, I feel shorthanded. I wanted to touch. We had to do fun. something <laughs> better to take out. For you guys, kind of like me as well. yeah, kind of take that the bad taste out of our mouths. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't horrible. It just wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't what I expected. It wasn't the yeah, it, but, uh, it was very hyped up, and it wasn't what I expected. But on a more of the story, the RS Seven is a hell of a car. Case closed. Yes, it is. Amazing four door car. Totally worth the price, and maybe one day I'll get it. So that's basically it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed our vlog. If you guys like these vlogs, definitely drop us a like and comment down below. It lets us know that you love this stuff. That's it for us on our end. See you next time.